position. Imagine if you were holding a needle and a needle driver, shown here. In this console, it's going to be like this, with a thumb up, reading where and what throws you should be performing on the bladder side, exposing the posterior side, and rolling the needle through at the 6 o'clock position from an in-to-out direction. Your first Here is how this will look if you're imagining holding it on a needle driver. And here it is. The needle is thrown from an in to out position at the 6 o'clock urethra. My hand is now rolled 180 degrees. In order to complete the throw, reach down and grab it with the left hand. And to complete the roll with the left hand, as shown. This throw will be done at approximately 5 o'clock. In real life, you want to take shorter travel distances. Once the needle is pressed in, I can roll my wrist, reach around, and grab it from the opposite side. The urethral side, this will be a left backhand throw. Imagine if you self the inner edge, roll it through with a right forehanded throw. Now we're going to load this again as a left backhanded throw. Now watch my hands, you see how extreme my wrist motion is in order to make this throw appropriately. You really have to rotate your wrist to make the throw work. Grab the needle with the right hand after it's been pushed through. This will allow you to be prepared to make your next bladder throw. Here, going through the bladder yet again. And we'll do one more of these left backhanded throws through the right upper quadrant of the urethra. And that's 